Welcome! This is the beginning of a tutorial series for players new and old to Arma that want to know more about the systems of certain mods like Ace. Today we will go through the most important keybinds and client-side settings for Ace and other mods used by Clear Backblast. Ace adds a variety of functionality and simulation to Arma that is missing in the vanilla game. From wind simulation for ballistic projectiles to a more advanced medical system, ACE overhauls many things to provide a more authentic ARMA experience. These systems can add a new layer of difficulty, but the better you understand them, the better off you will be. The first thing we are going to go over is the interaction and self-interaction menus that make up the fundamental core of ACE. The interaction menus allow another layer of actions on top of the vanilla ARMA scroll wheel action system. These two menus are where you access the majority of the ACE actions. Load into Virtual Arsenal or a mission of your choice. Once in game, press and hold down your left Windows key. When you hold the key down, you'll notice the red selection circle that will appear on the center of your screen and 3D selection bubbles on objects, people, and vehicles around you. When you look at a specific interaction bubble, you'll see the menu expand, giving you more options if there are any. To perform an action, release the Windows key on the bubble desired. To access your self-interaction menu, press and hold left control and the Windows key. This menu contains all of the options that have to do with yourself, like repacking magazines, changing your team color, using your equipment, and managing your radios. Note that many of the actions you see in the interaction and self-interaction menu are contextual. For example, you can only drag or carry someone who is unconscious or injured. Some actions require items and or training to perform like medics using a personal aid kit to heal someone up to full health, or a mechanic repairing a vehicle with a toolkit. All of these systems will be covered in later videos, so don't stress about them. Now that we have got the basics of the interaction menu down, let's move on to keybinds. Go to the pause menu, expand the options tab, and press controls. The configure add-ons button will be near the bottom right of this menu. Click on it and use the drop down menu to select a mod to get a list of keybinds related to it. Let's make some new keybinds for Ace, Acre, and other small mods. We're going to start with the Ace Weapons drop down. One of the absolute joys of Arma is its grenade throwing system. Ever been in a group and someone, maybe even yourself, throws an accidental grenade? What about when you're trying to throw a grenade in a precise way, only to have it bounce back at you? How about trying to throw a smoke grenade close to you, only for it to bounce well over where you wanted it, because your Arma man thought it would be a great idea to throw it like a fastball? Well, I felt your pain too. Luckily, there's a solution. Ace Advanced Throwing. To enable it, we want to bind our grenade key to Prepare Change Throwable and unbind our vanilla grenade key. Click on Configure Base, go to the Weapons dropdown, and then Unbind Throw. This will then enable Advanced Throwing when you press the key. You can do overhand or underhand throws, cook the grenade, and even carry a smoke while you run. It gives you a visual indication of where you are going to throw it, and if it will collide with terrain or objects. It works with head tracking, too, so you can toss a grenade to the side or behind you. While you have the grenade in hand, you can switch to a drop throw mode by pressing left control and G. This allows you to do precision drops in windows or over walls. You can even interact with a thrown grenade and pick it up and throw it again. Next, we'll go to the Ace Common dropdown and bind the Open Medical Menu selection. This menu will allow you to simplify treating yourself and others in a far more readable way than what the interaction menu provides. Press the key while looking at someone to open their medical status menu. You can click on various body parts to get a list of their injuries and how bad they are. You can open this menu for yourself when you aren't looking at anyone, or alternatively, you can switch the menu to yourself by pressing this button here. Pay attention to the name on the top left, as it will display who you are trying to treat. Don't panic if you're pressing the button and nothing is happening. We'll cover more about this later on in the video. Let's move on to Acre 2 Bindings. 
I have found that the default radio key binding confuses people a lot. I would recommend unbinding it and binding caps lock to alt radio key 1 with its respective shift and control partners below it. This allows you to assign your radios a permanent hotkey so that you don't have to get your nets mixed up all the time. Direct speech volume control allows you to adjust your in-game voice projection when Acre is enabled. Remember that Acre allows the AI men to hear you speak, so when you are doing a stealth mission, do your best to whisper and use radios. On to the last dropdown that we will cover in this video, Seagate View Distance. I recommend unbinding the first two and last two key bindings. Leaving open view distance settings will allow you to use the view distance menu, which is really nice to have on hand as sometimes you may need to adjust your view distance settings on the fly when things get intense and laggy. The menu has infantry, vehicle, and air vehicle presets too, which is really nice. We're finished with the keybinds now, so let's move on to the new ACE CBA settings menu. ACE is very customizable, allowing you to change many settings according to your preferences. There will be many client-side and server-side settings I won't be able to go over in this video. I will list off all of the categories that have meaningful client-side settings, but we will only cover the ones highlighted in red, as they have the most impact on gameplay. Go to the pause menu, expand options, and press on add-on options. This is the menu that allows you to tweak many things about ACE and your other mods that use CBA. You can tell there is a client-side option in this menu by the box underneath overwrite clients. If it's a white empty box, it is a client adjustable setting. If it's a grayed out full box, then it is a server side setting. Don't fill in the box, just adjust the setting. If you fill in the box while you are an admin, you will enforce your settings on other clients. You can also use the back arrow located on each setting to quickly revert to the default ACE value. Let's quickly jump to the most important settings. Interaction menu. Always display cursor for self-interaction toggle. This gives you the ability to use your mouse rather than turning your character to select actions. Keep cursor centered toggle. This makes it so that when you have a cursor enabled in the ACE menu, the menu will move around the cursor rather than the cursor moving around the menu. This is supposedly good for smaller resolutions, but if you have a 1920 by 1080 monitor, I honestly don't see the point. Always display cursor for interactions toggle. This is the same option as the self-interaction one, except it's for your interaction menu. Display interaction menus as lists toggle. This option is really important. It turns your interactions into a list format rather than the radial format. It helps a lot as you can more easily read what actions you have available to you. Interaction text size dropdown, a setting to let you change your text size if it's too big or too small. Normal suits most people's purposes. Do action when releasing menu key toggle. When this is turned off, you have to press mouse 1 to perform an action rather than just letting go of your Windows key. Interaction menu background dropdown. Disabled gives you no background effects and is arguably better for situational awareness. Blur screen will blur the background and black will make the screen darker adding contrast to the option bubbles available. Show actions for buildings toggle. When enabled, this gives you the ability to open doors, climb ladders, etc. by using your interaction menu. It's pretty cool, but comes with a huge performance cost, especially around large towns. I would recommend keeping this disabled so that you can avoid lag. Interaction animation speed drop down. Three times is the best setting. This will allow you to select actions faster. Show gestures on interaction menu drop down. This allows you to have the hand gestures on your ACE self-interact menu, or to just keep that functionality to keybinds, or to disable it completely. Medical. Pain effect type drop down. Color flashing is the vanilla ACE version of the ugly 2D white flash when you are in pain. At high pain levels, this will severely obstruct your vision and reduce your situational awareness. Traumatic aberration allows you to see more around the edges of your vision. Style of menu medical dropdown. This setting allows you to check the individual medical status of body parts when you hold down the ACE interact key while you are near another person. The medical menu makes this obsolete. I would recommend radial or disabled to reduce action clutter. Use medical menu dropdown. This should be enabled. This is the setting that allows you to use that medical menu that we bound earlier in this video. 
You can press on your keyboard while near and looking at another person to get a full body readout of their injuries. When you aren't looking at someone else and you press the keybind, your medical menu will come up. Reopen medical menu toggle. Leave this enabled so that after you do an action to treat yourself or a patient, the menu comes right back up once that action is done. It makes things easier, especially when there's heavy lag. Name tags. Show player names drop down. I would highly recommend the enabled setting. Only on cursor is a terrible setting, and I have no idea why it's default ace. Enabled will allow you to see friendly name tags in your peripheral vision, which is a must have in some of the operations that we do. Uncategorized. Make inventory display bigger drop down. This setting allows you to see more of your inventory without scroll wheeling. I would recommend large or very large, depending on your resolution size. ACE-X Volume. ACE-X Volume Reduction Enable Toggle. Keep this disabled. When you enable this, the volume reduction is always enabled, making you a very deaf individual. If you want to turn this on when a firefighter cook-off is too loud, then bind the key that turns it on or off. Reduction Amount Dropdown. This is the volume reduction amount. 70% is just about perfect for me, but it may be different for you depending on your audio settings. Lower in Vehicles Toggle. This is probably the most useful setting between all of the volume settings. When enabled, the game will automatically lower your volume when you climb into a vehicle, which is absolutely amazing when you are dealing with very loud machines, like helicopters. Those are the most important settings for Ace. I encourage you to look around at the different drop-down menus so that you can learn more about ACE and what other customizable features it has to offer. There's a link in the description for the Clear Backblast subreddit. Anyone is free to join us on regular Saturday operations. Thanks for watching. Just a quick note before we end. ACE and CBA have updated since I've recorded the majority of the footage used in this video. However, the menus and features haven't changed significantly since the beginning of this project. The settings we have explored here are still relevant as ever. I'm confident that the CBA settings menu will continue to evolve and ACE will add new features, so I highly recommend exploring the dropdowns every once in a while to see what new features they have added. I've been working on this video for several months, trying to tie down a useful format that explains these settings in a simple manner while striving for a high production value. This has definitely been the most time-consuming video I've worked on yet, but now that I'm out of menu hell, it should be easier to create videos about the systems of ACE. Stand by for more content.